I haven't done a mysterious images video for nearly a year, which is crazy, because there are so many photographs out there that I could talk about that just don't make any sense. Like one that a man took in 2015 before disappearing that shows a mysterious figure in the bushes to an unidentified person who was seen at the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And no, it's not the babushka lady. Sit back and enjoy these five unexplained photographs that I've no doubt are going to get you thinking. Dundas Peak Mysterious Man Dundas Peak in Ontario, Canada is one of the most visited locations in the area. It's reached by following the Bruce Trail and passing many waterfalls and stunning rugged natural landscapes. The peak itself offers outstanding views across Dundas and West Hamilton and is a popular place for pictures. Well, in 2016, a photo was taken here by a couple of hikers who were replicating a photo one of their cousins did in the exact spot a few days before. However, when they compared the photos they had taken to their cousins, they realized there was a mysterious figure lurking in the background. The figure appears to be standing unnaturally straight with no visible face and is stood in an area that would be extremely difficult to access due to the dense bushes and steep slope. The forum user who posted and took the image was asking for information on what it might be and whether anyone else had caught the same thing in their photos from the peak. No one could relate to it, but many offered theories on what it could be. Some said it could be the reflection of the rock face, a plastic bag, or even a fake, and others were genuinely creeped out and think it was paranormal. Now, the area is not known for paranormal activity, but one theory is that it has something to do with the 1936 train disaster at the nearby Dundas station. The tragedy happened on Christmas night when a train developed a problem and pulled into a sidetrack about 400 yards from the station and was hit by a train, smashing it to pieces and killing 15 passengers. Some say the figure in the photo could be the ghost of one of those passengers still lingering in the Dundas area. What do you think? Luther McCarty Weighing in at 220 pounds and standing 6 foot 4 inches, Luther McCarty was considered to be one of the best up-and-coming heavyweight fighters of the early 1900s. Then, on May the 24th, 1913, at the age of just 21, McCarty kissed his young wife and daughter goodbye and headed to a boxing ring in Calgary, Nebraska. His opponent that evening was Arthur Palkey. The fight was a charity event and was packed with over 6,000 fans, and before the main event began, a local minister made this statement. I know you men are going to help us buy a bell for our church. Your silver tokens will buy a memento for God's house, and it will be credited to you on the great ledger. Everyone must have credit in his ledger, for who knows whom the great referee will call home at any moment. You're probably wondering why I'm telling you what he said, but it holds great significance to the mysterious photograph. Just moments after the fight began, McCarty took a few punches before his knees buckled and he collapsed to the floor. The referee rushed over and started his count to 10, and as he was doing so, a ray of light shone through the skylight straight onto McCarty's body. Apparently, as soon as the referee finished his count, the light vanished and McCarty was still not moving. Despite being completely unscathed and not bleeding, he had a pre-existing injury that was triggered by the punches and was pronounced dead at the scene. Everyone watching couldn't believe what had happened and were convinced that the light was God taking McCarty to heaven in thanks for the charity event. You're probably thinking it sounds too hard to believe, but there is a photo of this mysterious light beam shining down on him. The photo has gone down as the 10 seconds of light, and many believe it's showing something magical that none of us can explain. What we do know is that it's not a fake and was witnessed by thousands of people, so the only other explanation is that it was just the sun shining down, but if it was, then the fact it shone down exactly on McCarty at the very moment he fell to the ground would be an incredibly unlikely, although still plausible explanation. What do you think? A once in a million occurrence or something far more magical? The Giant Cloud Man This next photo was taken in 2015 by Nick O'Donoghue during a flight from Austria to London and became pretty popular on the internet after he released it. And although you could say it's silly and just a complete fluke, it's still pretty strange. Whilst on the plane, Nick and his colleagues noticed a strange figure in the clouds when glancing out the window and he immediately grabbed his camera to take a picture. He and the others on board were all in shock of this mysterious figure as they looked at it for a few minutes until the plane passed by. So what actually was it? There are some crazy theories like a cloud ghost that roams 30,000 feet up, but it's believed it was created by smokestacks below the clouds that pushed up through the layers and made this unique formation. But even still, this is a rare occurrence as it is, let alone for it to take on the shape of a full figure. The man who took the picture said that he doesn't think this is what caused it either and would love for someone who knows about clouds to see it and try and explain it. So what do you think? It's pretty unique and would have been an incredible thing to witness. 
the Stairway to Heaven. Nicknamed the Stairway to Heaven, the Hayaku Stairs on the island of Oahu, Hawaii, is closed off to the public, but such is the allure of climbing the 3,922 steps that many hikers ignore the warnings and sneak past guards to face the challenge. So despite a warning from his grandmother who he was staying with, 18-year-old Dylan Pua, known as Moak, set out to the Haiku Stairs on the morning of February the 27th, 2015. Shortly after, he posted a few photos of himself on social media, indicating he was on the trail. But when he didn't return home that day, searches began on trying to find him. When the search teams inspected the photos he had posted, they spotted what appears to be something strange lurking just below the trees in the dense forest of Oahu. His family do not recognize the man as one of Dalen's friends and have made appeals hoping he will come forward and identify himself, as he could have something to do with Dalen's disappearance, but he hasn't. So who was this man, or is it a man at all? Some think it could be an animal or an illusion. What do you think? It sure as hell is creepy, and it's sad that despite extensive searches, Dalen still hasn't been found. Umbrella Man I could talk about this next one for hours, and it's easily the most well-known image in this list, even having its own documentary. It's the mysterious Umbrella Man that was seen on November the 22nd, 1963, at the assassination of John F. Kennedy. As the bullets were being fired that day, a man can be seen standing on the side of the road with an umbrella, in a few photos and in a short piece of footage. The question is still to this day, what was he doing there with an umbrella up when it wasn't even raining and was in fact a very sunny day? For many years, the speculation was that the Umbrella Man, as he was named, must have had a sinister motive and was in some way connected to the assassination of the president. After all, the actions of this man were far too random to be anything other than suspicious, and even if it was innocent, then the fact he was standing exactly where JFK was shot has made it incredibly hard to believe he wasn't up to something. And this has led to all kinds of conspiracy theories, ranging from him using the umbrella as a signal to fire, a theory endorsed in Oliver Stone's movie, JFK, to the idea that the umbrella had some sort of dart in it that fired an immobilizing agent at the president just before he was shot. Others say maybe he was just protecting himself from the sunshine, but after experts examined the footage, he appears to not be shielding himself in that way. Almost immediately after the event, and even after an appeal to the public of the identity of this man by the United States House Select Committee on Assassinations, no one came forward to identify themselves. Then, 15 years later, Louis Stephen Witt came forward and claimed it was him. He said he did not realize he was the subject of controversy, which some find hard to believe, considering the huge amount of publicity surrounding Kennedy's death, to which you would think Louis would be interested in since he was there that day. He claimed he used the umbrella to heckle the president in protest against his father, Joseph Kennedy, who was a supporter of the then British Prime Minister, Neville Chamberlain, who he thought was a Nazi appeaser. A black umbrella was Neville's trademark accessory and had been used before in connection with protests against Nazi appeasement. It's a perfectly plausible, although very hard to believe explanation, and apart from him showing the apparent black umbrella to the authorities, there is no real proof Wit was the man in the photographs apart from his word. So does that mean the mystery of the umbrella man continues to this day? Well, Wit died in 2014, so unless we believe him, then I guess it does. And that means when talking about the assassination of JFK, it will go down with all the other conspiracies surrounding that day. So there's five unexplained photographs. I hope you've enjoyed and don't forget to leave your theories on these photos in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for another video.